So what I want to demonstrate now is this website called coolers.co, C-O-O-L-O-R-S dot C-O. And what it is, it's a way to find color schemes. So you come here and you can have an account or use it without an account and the accounts are free so you can just sign up. And I'm already logged in. So you can either explore existing palettes or you can make a palette. So start the generator will make a palette, explore trending palettes will show you some trends. I'm going to start with the generator. So you click on the generator and what it does is it starts generating color palettes for you. And you hit the space bar on your keyboard and I keep hitting the space bar and it keeps making new color palettes that go well together. So you can keep hitting the space bar and either you like this whole color palette or maybe you just like one of them. Like let's say I like this it's called razzmatazz. I can click this lock down here and that will lock it in. So maybe I like this one and maybe I like this blue. So I'm going to lock both of them and now hitting the space bar it will look for other colors that go with these. And then if you're like well I don't know if I like any of them you can click unlock and then you can keep um, stepping through for different color palettes. So let's say maybe I like this palette. Um, I can lock them. So maybe I'll lock these. Not sure if I like this one. But the other thing you can do, let's look at this blue. You can view the shades and it will show you the different shades of that blue. So you might decide, you know, I like this blue but sometimes I want a darker shade of this blue clicking on this view shades and maybe I want a lighter shade of this blue and so you know you can kind of keep clicking around uh, you can star these save it to favorites you can copy the hex code right so you might take this hex code and maybe you'll go into Canva or maybe you'll decide these are going to be the colors for your website. Um, there's lots of things you can do with this, but I often go here if I have a color I really like and I want to know what else would look good with it. So why don't I click Save and I could call this, um, you know, Website One Color Test or, or whatever. So it's saving it. That's because I have an account and I'm logged in. Again, it's a free account. So I've saved this and I can look at my saved color palettes. Right, so this is website color test. So I've already saved that. Um, how do I close that? Okay. But maybe I want to, hmm, maybe I want to just try something else. So maybe I don't want this green. I can keep hitting the space bar and it will keep finding other colors. So this is a really cool tool that you might want to use. Now I want to show you one more thing. Let's create a palette from a photo. So when you come over here, create palette from a photo. So it's kind of like what I did in Canva, but this is using a different tool. So I can upload the image. If I know the image on my site, I can get that URL. Uh, camera, I don't have my camera turned on, or you can search. So you can use the search and it's finding unsplash photos. So here's this uh, nice man ray, man ray, forget, deep sea. And here's how you pick colors from the image from here. This is already set, so I just kind of move my cursor around and I want to pick maybe this light color and over here maybe I'll pick a darker color and you just click around on the screen and it's picking up uh, different colors. 
So if I want to use this photo, but I want to pick my own colors, this is how it's picking the colors. Then I can say next, and I can say view palette, and it shows it in hex, RGB, CMYK. These are all more for professional designers. Hex is usually what you want. I can save this palette, and I can call it under the C. So that's saved. So if I later want to use that uh, image, now good question of how do I get that image back? I'm not really sure. Let me try it one more time. Um, but I've saved this under the C. So if I go to search, it looks like I probably can find this by going to um, Unsplash. But let me show you one other thing. Let's say you want to upload a photo that you've already saved. So I'm going to browse and find on my computer. Let me find that. This one. Click open. So here is my uh, water lilies and I move this around and then select the dot because I'm going to pick different colors and then I select the dot and then I click on the screen for my color. Select this, maybe I'll click this dark color and maybe if you don't like that color you can keep clicking until you find a color you like. If you click plus, it gives you more colors or less. Maybe you only want to pick a few colors. And maybe I'll select this. And there's probably, or maybe I don't like that. Let me come over here. There's probably like a different version of, if you keep clicking on the photo, you'll get, you know, different versions of the purple. And maybe I'll try that green. So you can pick colors from an image. I go next and I can save this palette and call it water lilies. So this is just a tool that you would use and then when I click on it it's given me all these hex colors. So if I really love this green I can double click on it and now I have this color. I have never used the export palette but it looks like it will make you a PDF. So let's just try this. I've never done it. And let's open this up. So it exported it into a PDF and it's just saving all these colors for me. So I could then print this out if I wanted to. Oh, this is interesting. So I don't know what this page two is. Let me zoom out. Um, so these are my colors and then it's giving some other stuff. So this coolers, this design tool is for graphic designers, but you don't have to be a graphic designer to play around with it if you want to uh, do more with colors or find colors and this is exactly the tool we used for the Create Your Course website to get this photo and then start playing with it, this pink and then getting blues that we thought would go well we let the software pick the colors for us. So that is how you use the Coolers uh, website to pick uh, any colors you want, whether you let it auto-generate. Let's see if I go back home. Whether you let it auto-generate or you can explore trending patterns. So these are already trending color palettes. There's nothing wrong with 
if you just see a color palette here that you like and that appeals to you. Again, this is a designer's tool, so use it if it works for you or not, or you just want to use a little bit, you know, one aspect of it. You don't have to uh, use the whole thing. And if you get an account, then you can um, save, come in to start the generator, then you can save, let me X that out, you can save a whole bunch of palettes. So that's it. That's how you use coolers.com. This is Christina Hills.